and welcome back to Good Evening KU. I'm Anna. And I'm Heidi. And um, while walking in here today, I was absolutely miserable. Like, it is so hot outside. So uh, it's no. It's supposed to be fall next week, and it's like 90 no, degrees. No, it does still. not feel like it at all. I was running late to a class the other day, and like, had to kind of pick up the pace, and like, I got to class and thought I was dying. Like, oh, yeah. I've definitely it was had like terrible. sweat on my forehead. Yeah. Like. <laughs> no, I even <laughs> bought one of those like little fans you can plug into your phone oh, on really? Amazon. Yes, yeah, so I'm like walking down the street like with my little fan. Like, I look like an idiot, but like, hey. I like cannot deal with the heat. Like, yeah. I can't I'm anymore. So, I'm so tired of it. I'm it's ready for it to be cold, and I know like when it's cold, we're going to be like, we want it to be hot, but like, no, like, I, I need it to be cold. Not yeah. even a want anymore. It's a need. Well, like last year, it was so cold. I remember like putting a scarf over my my head and like mm -hmm. putting a hood over my head and I was like freezing and miserable mm -hmm. and I was like I'm ready for summer yeah, and now it's the other way like, around. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Uh, this weekend is family weekend. I know. Uh, I'm excited. Are you excited? Are your family, is your family coming? Yeah, my mom's coming. I'm really excited. Yeah. She always makes the weekend fun when I bring her because, mm -hmm. you know, get to all your friends and yeah, your family together yeah. and then go to the game. It's always a fun time. Uh -huh. My parents are coming and they're from Oklahoma, so they're coming like a while away. Yeah, you know? it's a drive. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be fun. I don't know if we're going into the game yet, but yeah. it'll be fun because I have a lot of family in Kansas, like oh, yeah. city area. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be fun mm -hmm. either way. Yeah. You can go to like a restaurant or uh -huh. somewhere. Yeah, and, and we'll the watch game. the game for sure because yeah. it's going to be exciting. We're playing West Virginia. I know. They're like, like what, a 35% chance? Yeah, something of, like uh, that. Yeah. But we came off like we're coming off of a big win. So I know. it's going to be really college, excited like, to watch. It's going to be there? really excited to yeah. watch. I don't even, I'm not even like a sports person and I like get excited <laughs> for this. Yeah. Well, KU had like, what, a 7% chance of winning against yeah. Boston College? and. No, and after losing the weekend before, everyone was, like, not wanting to go. But then, like, we, like, blew them out of the water. I know. That was, yeah, it that was fun. Honestly, it was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, but, what, football's coming up. And mm -hmm. then, what, late night? Late it's night is coming, too. October 4th, yeah. is that right? Yeah. Uh-huh, and it's, like, the start of basketball season, which is so fun. KU basketball is, like, a big reason of why I came here. Really? Like, I was thinking about a lot of other schools. And then, like, my dad, my dad came here, so, like, I don't know about that, but, like, I came to late night last year and like I was like no like this is where I need to be because like I love basketball and I think it's like a lot of fun you know so you're definitely watch. more basketball than football yeah <laughs> and I like used to play basketball like it's not something I'm proud of but like I played in like middle school oh, so yeah. like I understand what's happening whereas like when I watch football I'm like I don't, could not tell you what's See, happening. See I'm, I'm the other way around. Yeah. I'd rather watch football than basketball. Like, what are you so. doing here? <laughs> I know well I went to high school that's like all basketball like mm -hmm. none other sports matter yeah. so when I came here I was like well, basketball's cool. I know a lot about it because of high school. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, football's fun too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I like the environment. I like going and tailgating. Yeah, and like the like atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, That's a big part of it. Okay, this isn't really related to KU, but Bachelor in Paradise. Oh my gosh, my guilty pleasure. <laughs> yeah, the finale was last night. Um, yeah, and it was... I, I don't even know how to put it in words because yeah. I've been watching since like Colton season mm -hmm. and then The Bachelorette was from Colton season mm -hmm. and then like all of those characters from those two seasons yeah. were on Bachelor in Paradise yeah. so it was so fun to like, see watch, everybody. Yeah, no, it's always fun. I watched Colton season but I didn't watch like The Bachelorette this season just because like yeah. I'm more interested in The Bachelor for some reason. Yeah. But like I always the girl know. Like, drama. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. But it's always, but like I know it's going on. And like I kind of kept up with like The Bachelorette. Yeah. And so then I kept up with Bachelor so in Paradise because it's like fun to see, you it's know? It's just drama. Yeah, I know. And like everyone like makes fun of it. Like it's definitely rotting my brain, but like, you know, it's, it's Whatever. entertaining. It's yeah. two hours of like, what, a Monday and Tuesday? Yeah. So then it's just a way it's to nice. get away. <laughs> Unwind, watch The Bachelor Pretend in Paradise. Pretend like you're in paradise yourself. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely what I do. Yeah. But yeah, the new bachelor is what Peter. Peter. Pil oh my gosh. Pilot Peter Pete. The pilot. I was very happy about that. Like I didn't even watch, and like he was my favorite. Oh yeah. You know? Such a cutie. He <laughs> is really cute, and I think like his family's cute. Like I'm excited. Like I think I'll watch this season. Yeah, I definitely will. I'm sure the girls would be like crazy for him too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would be. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So. Um, on the topic of TV shows, I heard that NBC is streaming, is like what, making a new streaming mm -hmm. platform? People are mad because oh, Parks no. and Rec and The Office are coming off of Netflix and going to the NBC streaming Well, service. have you heard what it's called? Peacock? Peacock. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I don't know how I feel about that Yeah, one. no, I don't know either. But I know from my friends that the office coming off of mm -hmm. Netflix is heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah, I was more of like a Parks and Rec fan, but like I love The Office too. Yeah, and like, both of them. I know, and like I don't watch them all the time, but like... I, you know, yeah. Now yeah. that they're gone, I'm I always have them. them playing in the background. So like when Netflix won't be my to go, my go to to watch like The Office. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. But okay, well I think that's all we have to talk about. Yeah, we'll have a short break. Yeah, and after and the break, we will talk. We'll have our guest from the Dole Institute. Have a nice day. You too. semester you excited oh my gosh I'm so excited um, my first political campaign in college I took a semester off from school and got credit and I worked on President Ford's election and of course Bob Dole was the vice president that he year was. and so um, I was in charge of doing events on college campuses for the Ford Dole committee because I worked on the, uh, on the major campaign in Columbus and so Robin Dole the senator's daughter actually came to my little school in, in Ohio, Otterbein College, to do a campaign event. So that was like my first big time campaign event at age 19. So this college campus feels familiar with uh, you. Just yesterday when we were in the Dole Institute, uh, seeing all the material around from the Ford Dole campaign in, in 76, it just brought back so mm -hmm. many memories. I actually have two scrapbooks that I'm trying to figure out where they are so I can bring them because I took so many pictures uh, in 1976 because that was that was the first big one and I cried like a baby when they lost. Mm. You should have seen me because well I cry anytime and I lose cared, a campaign. You were but I was so invested you in had this. To. And and the phone number was two two four F O R D which I could go very quickly uh, in our dorm room. But mm. uh, yeah it was it was wonderful and then um, I worked on Bob Dole's presidential race in 88. I was living in Nebraska, and it was big Nebraska and Iowa for him. So I have a long history, and, and it is such an honor to be, to be at his institute. So fast forward to 2019, you've been coined the democracy I coach. Did. So what do you think the state of our democracy is right now? I have never seen such turbulent political times. Now. I was just a little kid during the Vietnam War. I have friends who have told me it was no walk in the park then either. Um, but back then, we didn't have 24-7 social media. We didn't have 24-7 news, and news that is infotainment, not necessarily news. And so with the death, more or less, of journalism, with newspapers closing every day, Anybody with a blog or anybody who can post anything on Facebook, people think it's true. And it's absurd. I mean, I have colleagues and friends from my college days that actually believed that Hillary Clinton was running a sex trafficking that ring at the, and, and the pizza place yeah. in D.C. And, and, you know, I, and because I love knowledge, I, of course, would try to correct them. And then they'd get mad because, you know, but I, we just – no one believes anything, and they don't know what to believe anymore. And it makes me incredibly sad. And last year, after 39 years in D.C., with that little sabbatical out to the great Nebraska. state of Nebraska, <laughs> where I ran the Republican Party in my mid-20s, um, when I had the opportunity to move to Denton, Texas, to become the to launch the Center for Women in Politics and Public Policy at Texas Women's University, I felt so passionate about empowering people that – I decided it's time to take that leap of faith. Um, Texas ranks 48th out of 50 states for voter engagement. If you don't show up, other, you know, the non-voters decided the 2016 election. And people, people in America are so powerful and they don't know it. They just have to show up to vote. <laughs>
Welcome back. I'm Maddie. And I'm Daniel. This is your Wednesday Good Evening KU News Update. The government has again lowered it, the federal interest rate in an effort to hold off a recession. The possible trade war with China triggered the decision to drop the rate by a quarter percentage point to, to below 2%. This is the second drop in the past two months. New York State has banned the sale of flavored e-cigarettes. This comes after a number of people have fallen ill and even died from health complications surrounding flavored e-cigarettes. Last week, a Kansas man became the sixth person to die from a vaping-related illness. The CDC has now tallied six deaths and over 450 possible cases of severe lung injury as a result of vaping. Actress Felicity Huffman was sentenced to 14 days in prison for her role in the college admission scandal that broke earlier this year. Huffman paid $15,000 to rig her daughter's ACT scores. She is one of 12 defendants charged as a result of the scandal, including actress Lori Laughlin, who allegedly paid $500,000 to get her daughters on the USC rowing team. Laughlin is still awaiting a verdict. Ohio gamer Casey Viner was sentenced to 15 months in prison for recruiting someone to make a fake emergency call that, re that resulted in the fatal shooting of a Kansas man by police. He was also restricted from playing video games for two years. This incident happened in December of 2017 when 28-year-old Andrew Finch in, of Wichita was killed by police during a confrontation as a result of a fake emergency call. The Kansas Jayhawks football team shocked its critics with a 48-24 road victory over Boston College on Friday. This was their first Power 5 road victory since October 4, 2008 versus Iowa State. KU will open its conference schedule by hosting West Virginia at 3.30 p.m. On, Sunday, on Saturday, and Les Miles expects a big and rowdy crowd. The KU soccer team will be back in action this week at Rock Chalk Park. The Jayhawks will, will host 7th ranked BYU on Thursday night at 7 p.m. and then face off against Kennesaw State on, on Sunday at 1 p.m. Kansas is currently at 7-1 overall. In breaking news, a KU tennis player has been arrested and suspended from the team. According to Lawrence Journal World, 22-year-old Sophia Smagina has been charged with the suspicion of criminal damage to property at the Stouffer Place Apartments. KU Athletics released a statement saying they were aware of the incident and that Shmajina has been suspended at this time. And that's a wrap for, for this evening's news update. After the break, Adrian will be here with us to tell us how long this, long, this hot streak is going to last. For students searching for a way to stay active in an outdoorsy way, the city of Lawrence has bike trails running in every direction and with the new Bike Share program we can stay in shape as we tour the sites of our beautiful city. Clinton Lake is only a short 30 minute bike ride away from Daisy Hill and has the most incredible sunset location in all of Lawrence. Walking campus may give you the KU calves, but biking can give you the KU thighs. Bike Lawrence today. Hello and welcome back to Good, e good, good Evening KU. I'm Adrian Campa here with your weather forecast. Now taking a look at current weather, right now we have a temperature of 91 degrees. It's partly cloudy and pretty hot out. Our feels like temperature is 96 degrees, so it is pretty miserable outside today. Now looking into this evening from 6 to 9 p.m., we're going to start to cool off a bit to around 78 degrees at 9 p.m. and our winds start to slowly back off because right now they're pretty gusty out. We do have gusts over 20 miles an hour, but as the evening progresses, the winds just start to die off. Now for tonight, we're expecting a low temperature of 69 degrees, clear skies and light winds, and again, our winds should be out of the southeast now at five miles an hour, so overall, pretty nice night. So if you have any outdoor activities planned tonight, you should be expecting a good night. Now, I do want to talk about the tropics right now. I'll step off just so you can see how active it is. We have a lot of 
activity from the eastern Pacific through the Atlantic. There are currently six named storms. A storm yesterday made landfall in southeast Texas uh, as Tropical Storm Imelda, which is now currently a tropical depression that's um, about 20 miles northeast of Houston, continuing on a northward track. Now that brings me to this. Here's a satellite image of Imelda, and the low pressure is centered right, right about here, and it's moving north. And that's going to be our next weather system that's going to bring some rain for us. And that's also going to end this heat spell that we've been in and bring cooler temperatures. So if you're looking forward to cooler temperatures, they're only a few days away now, because I know this heat has been horrible. <laughs> now, tomorrow we, do, we are expecting a high temperature of 92, but after that, Friday, that's when a cold front's going to come through and kind of clash with that tropical depression in Melda. So we are going to have tropical moisture and a cold front coming through that's going to stall over us. So we're, it's just going to rain for several days, Friday through Sunday. Our best chance is looking at Saturday where we could pick up three to four inches, maybe even more. So if you have any outdoor activities planned this weekend, definitely want to have an umbrella handy because this rain is going to be relentless. And taking a look at next week, temperatures are going to be cool, especially after that cold front finally pushes through, probably Saturday afternoon. We're going to have temperatures in the low 80s, so no more 90s. So that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.